people and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is kayla and this week i am going to be styling outfits inspired by stranger things season four characters <laughs> Today, I will be celebrating one of my favorite shows, Stranger Things. So many of us love this show, and if you do, you probably already know that part two of season four came out on Friday, July 1st. I basically told all of my friends and family I will be unavailable once I get off of work. I will be watching part two of Stranger Things season four on Friday and so I did I watched the whole thing and I was just obsessed and I love and I cannot wait for season five anyway I won't be giving away any spoilers in this video so if you haven't seen part two or even if you haven't seen part one no worries you might not know one of the characters Eddie Eddie Munson he has not been in any of the other seasons he's a new character this year and I absolutely love Eddie he's one of my favorite characters in television and obsessed. Before we jump into the video, I would love to know who your favorite character is from Stranger Things. Also, I need to know, are you team Jonathan and Nancy or Steve and Nancy? I am team Steve and Nancy. I love Steve. He's an ass in the first season, but he really like, he grows up. <laughs> He's so nice after that. I love Steve. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the outfits. Okay, up first, I'm going with a classic Nancy look. I'm actually wearing it right now. This outfit is slightly altered from what the actual actress is wearing, but this is sort of my take on Nancy's look. All of these outfits, none of them are gonna be exact. It's basically just me trying to like style these outfits as close as I can with like things that I can find today. So here's Nancy's look. Okay, so we're probably starting off with my least favorite outfit of the bunch, but I do think I recreated this one pretty well. And I didn't actually have to buy anything for this look. I had all of these pieces already in either my wardrobe or my mom's wardrobe. For this look, it's slightly different. The skirt's not the same, and also I'm wearing a sweater instead of a sweater vest. But for this look, I have on my thrifted teal skirt. I absolutely love this skirt. It is from the Goodwill and it's a nice midi length. Nancy's has like a fun design on it and mine is just solid but it has like those teal hints in it so I felt like this was a great option. Nancy also is always wearing boots in this season. She's wearing like a lot of boots and a lot of heels. Very impractical for all the running around she's doing but I did go ahead and put on my black heeled booties. Of course they're not the same as her. She's got these really cool sort of almost stiletto boot heel looking shoes that are very 80s but mine are just contemporary ankle booties. Then on the top half of this outfit, I have on just a white button up. Over top of it, I have my grandmother's gray sweater actually. And then Nancy has, it was hard to tell in some pictures, the belt was brown. In some pictures it was pink, depending on the lighting. I do believe the belt was probably pink, but I went with my brown one because I did try on a pink belt and I hated how it looked. So we went with the one that looked better. And then over top of that, I have on my denim jacket. This denim jacket is from Target. I got it a few years ago. Now Nancy's a bit more fitted and mine is a bit more oversized but of course again as usual working with what we already have then of course Nancy has a perm very curly hair and I didn't really know what to do to emulate that I could have obviously curled my hair but my hair is very thick very heavy and does not curl like that so I decided to just throw it up in a bun to sort of emulate the sort of volume of it all. And I think it works. I think it still looks very sort of professional, journalistic, which is very much what this season was for Nancy. Okay, up next, let's go with a max look. I actually have two max looks in the video. So let's go with max look number one. This is from the infamous season four scene. I will not say anymore, except for running up that hill. <laughs> so here is this look. This is the look from the season four scene. I'm sure even if you haven't seen it, you've seen all the spoilers. It's been everywhere, but it is from the running up that hill scene. That is all I will say. So for this look, I just have on my black Converse. Now Max has on some red Vans. I did just go ahead and put on my Converse. I felt like they worked because they're also like a good classic skater shoe. Then moving up, I have on my medium wash blue 
denim high-waisted jean. These are from Old Navy. I got them quite a few years ago now. Moving up, I have on this blue zip-up sweatshirt. This is actually my mom's, and I actually just took some bias tape and put a couple of basting stitches to stitch the yellow bias tape around the sleeves. I did think about adding the white strip of white bias tape in the front as well because Max does have a white stripe in the front, but I felt like it didn't need to be perfect. It didn't need to be exact. I also felt like this was a cool hack. Like if you ever wanted to add a little bit of detail to a sweatshirt or a top or a dress or whatever that you thrift, a fun way to add a little bit of detail is to grab some bias tape and sew it on. Now, if you want to make it a permanent change, I would probably wouldn't go with a basting stitch, but I was just doing this as a temporary change for the video. And then I gave my mom her sweatshirt back. <laughs> And so I felt like this was like a really fun way to sort of play with the stripes that are on Max's sweatshirt. Underneath I have on this black and white grid shirt and then I also again took some bias tape and sewed it around the collar to give it the red collar which is similar to Max's. Now this shirt was just plain stripes and I did take some fabric paint and paint the grid pattern on. It's not like the neatest paint job but I like the organicness of it but I think you could absolutely get away with just wearing like a striped shirt or like a plaid shirt underneath and it would totally still read the same way. Max also has a teal scrunchie in her hair and her hair is in a ponytail during the scene. So I have a teal scrunchie in my hair and it's in a ponytail. Also a really fun little accessory I could throw in was this Walkman. My dad had a couple of Walkmans laying around. At the time that I filmed this, I didn't actually have headphones for it, but I did just buy a pair of Panasonic headphones that are compatible with this Walkman. So I'm, I'm about to be walking around like it's 1980 over here. And that is my Max look. I am so, so happy with how this one turned out. And I um, am planning for Halloween photos and videos already. Get ready, guys. <laughs> okay, moving on to another character. Let's go for a Robin look. Girl power. We got all the lady looks going up front. Um, absolutely love Robin's character. She is so freaking cool. Like, honestly, I would love to be friends with Robin. She's just, like, the coolest. So this look is not exact. Same, similarly to, like, Nancy's. Um, but I was able to put together pieces that I felt were kind of similar now, my blazer jacket is actually black and hers is navy blue, but I actually think that the black works really well. It felt like it tied the whole outfit together for me anyway, but y'all will have to let me know what you think. This is my Robin's work outfit. <laughs> this outfit is probably the, the one that deviates the most from the source text, but I kind of swapped a couple of things. Anyway, I do think that it works still and it definitely can translate. Like if you know what the source material looks like, I think you could look at this outfit and be like, oh yeah, Robin, of course. For this outfit, what I have on, again, my Converse. I do believe Robin is actually wearing black high top Converse. I was happy that I got that matched. My Converse are just thrifted. I thrifted them on Poshmark. I've actually thrifted both of my Converse from Poshmark and they're really, really great. Then for the bottoms, I just have on a pair of navy blue pants. I thrifted these in last week's video where I went thrifting for Stranger Things pieces so if you want to see more of me thrifting for stranger things pieces and you missed last week's video go ahead and check that out i'll leave it in a card up above i also have on this really cool plaid shirt that i got from the men's section i love this shirt it is so 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 nice i actually have been wearing it a ton since i thrifted it now robin's is blue and it's got some orange and yellow and red sort of stripes in it Mine is more leaning towards like purples and pinks and stuff like that, but I felt like because the bulk of it, like the base kind of looking color was blue that it worked. Now Robin also has a solid navy blue tie, but I have one, I could not find it. So I just went with this striped one and I actually felt like it was a fun sort of mixed prints moment, which Robin does do with her blazer. Robin has actually a plaid blazer on and mine is solid hers is also navy blue and mine is black so it's a little bit different but i feel like again you still sort of get the general idea with all of the pattern mixing and the sort of quirkiness the fun play with the more masculine silhouettes okay let's pop into max outfit number two this one is one of her like school outfits it's very casual this is like such a basic outfit and luckily enough my dad had a couple of walkmans laying around so i actually threw in a walkman you would have seen it previously as well but freaking cool to have that as like a prop i didn't have any headphones though so it's kind of useless without the headphones but you know what it's it's, it's a prop 
I feel like that's my new saying. It's a prop. <laughs> Now for max outfit number two, this one, you see it at the beginning, so during part one of season four, where she is at school. So again, she's wearing her Vans, don't have Vans, so I'm wearing Converse. Then I also have on these jeans here. I actually thrifted these, but I gave them to my mom because she wears jeans more than I do. Um, and so these are just a pair of thrifted Lee jeans, and they're actually really, really comfortable. And they're a light wash, which is what Max is wearing as well. She's wearing a light wash pair of jeans. I then have on an oversized navy blue shirt. I got this in the men's section at Walmart, and it fits really similarly to how Max's shirt fits, which is like quite baggy, oversized. So I really wanted to play with that. So I got this in a men's extra large. I then threw on my jean jacket again, which again is from Target. And I like that the denims are two different colors. Max's outfit is also like that. Her denims are two different colors. And these ones are pretty close, but the jacket is slightly darker. And it's kind of similar with how Max's outfit is in the actual show. Now, in the scenes that I saw, Max's hair was not in braids. But because she wore braids so often this season, I did want to pay homage to that. So I went ahead and put my hair in just pigtail braids. And of course the handy dandy walkman one more time i wish i had the headphones that i was filming this i feel like it really would have made this outfit because it feels like it's missing something and it's the headphones for sure but that is the second max look okay guys and now for my favorite outfit of the bunch the one the only eddie munson this is my favorite outfit of the whole video so i hope you stuck around till the end this is my attempt at styling eddie munson's look I think I got it pretty spot on. This is the one I paid the most attention to. I think just because Eddie is my favorite character from this season. And also I love his style. Like punk sort of rock and roll, just really cool 80s rock style is my sort of bread and butter when it comes to things that I absolutely love. Of course, I don't dress this way normally, though maybe in another life I might have because this is really something I truly, truly, truly love. So without further ado, here is my favorite look of the day, Eddie Munson. Okay, and now for the Metal King of D&D, &D, Eddie Munson. Okay, so starting from the bottom, first things first, I have on my black Converse. I do believe Eddie is either wearing black Converse or he's wearing combat boots. You guys, I really would love to invest in a pair of combat boots, comfortable combat boots. I've tried Doc Martens. I cannot wear them. I don't find them comfortable. They're too heavy for my feet. So if anybody has any suggestions of some lighter weight combat boots that also won't like rip my feet apart like my docs did, I would love to know your suggestions. Okay, so moving up from my Converse, I have on these black jeans. I got these from the men's section at Walmart. I actually love, love, love these jeans. I've been wearing them a ton since I got them. So they are just plain black jeans, but I did go ahead and rip a hole in one of the knees. I think Eddie has holes in both of his knees, but I did go ahead and just do the one knee and I felt like it looked totally fine just like that. These are from the Rustler brand and I really, really like them. So I tried on a couple of different sizes because I don't typically buy men's jeans, but I think I finally understand what the hype is about. I love the structure of these pants because they're quite loose in my legs. However, the reason that is the, is the case is because I had to size up so far just to get them over my butt and hips because I do have like a pretty large rumpus and like wider thighs and hips. So I had to get a 42 size waist, which is really, really, really oversized on me. It's probably like four or five sizes too big, but because I have a belt on, kind of works anyway the belt like cinches it in and does the damn thing and it leaves like a really cool baggy edgy 80s type of look for the rest of the pants i do think i might start buying men's jeans like this and then maybe just bringing them to a tailor and getting them to fit around my waist because i won't wear jeans because i cannot find a cut that i actually like that is affordable. These jeans were $12 and I have never loved a pair of jeans more. Okay, moving away from the jeans because I've already talked too much about them. Attached to them, I actually have a silver chain. I bought the chain actually at Joann's and I took a carabiner clip because I felt like that would work really cool to sort of fasten it to the belt loops and I clipped it to one of the belt loops. It was just a black carabiner clip that came with my Beats headphones. 
And then I just stuck the other end in the zipper at the very top by the button and it stays in really sturdy like I pulled on it and it didn't come out so don't really know why it stays in that well but it does and then I also have on this really fun bringing you back to the 2000s belt it is a black leather faux leather belt with silver grommets all around it I used to wear belts like this all the time when I was in like middle school and I really, really like it actually. And I was excited to have one back in my life. Then moving up, I have on the Hellfire Club t-shirt, which honestly, I was so on the fence about buying because the graphic freaks me out. It is so creepy. And the amount of wear it's gonna get, I'm not sure. However, once I got it and I put it on and I put this whole outfit on, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel cooler than I've ever been. So it is very possible that this outfit will be worn by me in the everyday life. <laughs> then over top of that, I have on this black leather jacket and I got this one at Target. It is the worst fit on the planet of earth. It's so uncomfortable. And so I'm probably gonna actually cut the sleeves off and just keep it as a leather vest. So I'll need to reinvest in an actual nice fitting leather jacket. Um, but then over top of it, I have on this denim vest. I thrifted this last week as well in last week's video. It was a full jacket, but I did cut the sleeves off and I love it. I've been wearing this vest nonstop since I did this. <laughs> then of course, for an accessory, I have my dad's guitar. I'm actually currently taking guitar lessons and it has been so much fun. I tried to learn when I was a kid on an acoustic, but I really hated the acoustic guitar. And so this time around, I decided um, I would try my hand at electric and I'm absolutely loving it. So I'm really, really enjoying that. But yes, so this is this outfit. I absolutely love it. The only thing that would have made this better is if I had like curled my hair or got a wig. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I wanna know what your favorite look of the day is. You already know which one mine is, but I wanna know which one is yours. Also, please don't leave any spoilers in the comments down below. The show really just came out and I would not want to spoil it for anyone else. So I'd appreciate it if you did not put any spoilers in the comments down below, but I would love to know again, are you team Nancy and Steve or Nancy and Jonathan? I would love to know. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's totally free and I'll let you know that I upload new videos which is every single Wednesday. Unless you have a crazy weekend and then they usually go up some other day of the week. Also, feel free to check me out on Instagram or TikTok. I am constantly posting content over on Instagram. And then usually I'll just like cross post my Instagram content on TikTok. Um, and I think that's really all I have for you. So don't forget, it costs absolutely nothing to be kind. So be kind to yourself and others. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.